guys and welcome back to my channel. We have a fresh face today starting this video. Um, I'm actually starting this video in an evening. I've never started a vlog in an evening, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I was just about to do my skincare and I thought I would pick up the camera. I got some vlog footage the other day and I thought, oh, I'll include that vlog footage in this video, but then there's no real intro to it. So here I am introing today's video. So I've double cleansed and I'm using my Skin and Me. Now, you may have heard me talk about my Skin and Me um, daily doser before. It is something that I've had in my routine now for, gosh, how long? Months. Honestly, months. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's simplified my skincare routine quite a lot. And I find sometimes if I experiment and use lots of different products and loads of different steps within my skincare routine that sometimes my skin breaks out. And as much as I love the beauty industry and trialing out new products and stuff, I do then end up stripping it back to what I know. And currently that is just cleansing, or I've got makeup on, which I have had on today, double cleansing. So I usually go in with like a micellar water or cleansing water just to remove my makeup. Then I use my usual cleanser. It's actually just in the shower. I always keep it in there just to have it there for ease. And yeah, now that I'm fresh faced, makeup free, I go in with my Skin and Me Daily Dose. And I feel like it's a brand and product that has completely switched up the beauty industry. And it's a bit of a game changer, I'm not gonna lie. I also feel like it's, you know, it's a brand new year, fresh new start. And if your skin is something that you have told yourself that you're gonna work on this year, then I would recommend trialing this out. Now, Skin and Me, um, the daily doser is usually at $24.99, but you can get your first daily doser for just £3.50 with my discount code. It's Freya FYT. I'll leave it in the description box for you along with a link. And it's the perfect opportunity to test it out with it being so affordable, just £3.50. Okay, so one of the most satisfying parts is the click. Lisa's is your exact recommended. Oh, did you hear that? Uh, daily amount that you should apply to your face. You just simply, well, this is how I apply it, just warm it up, pat it on, on my skin, and then I kind of let it set for about 10 minutes just until it's kind of done its thing, worked its way into the skin before I then go in with a moisturizer. This is just a nighttime routine. I don't use this one in the morning. This is just purely, um, purely at night time. It does take a couple of months to build like a habit. Once you've got this within your routine, your regular routine, it's something that um, just becomes the norm. In the months that I've been using it, I've seen a great improvement in my skin. I do get a couple of compliments on how my skin is currently looking because in the past I have had problematic skin. So I definitely feel like Skin and Me is a big contribution towards my skin health right now. And the way that it works very simply is that you can um, complete like a consultation form online. It's very quick and simple and easy to do. And you can target sort of like, or mention the target skin concerns, areas, things that you wanna focus on on your skin, your skin type. My, for me, it was, I'm 31 now, so um, anti-aging properties, my skin texture, brightness as well. Well, dullness, I wanted brightness. It is designed by dermatologists, so you get that kind of like expertise without the wait time, the expensive dermatologist appointments. So the fact that it is completely personalized to you and your skin and your needs, that's what sold it to me personally. You can actually see if you wanna look into it, the breakdown of the active ingredients that are included within your daily doser. And they're the sort of things you can't just get over the counter. So yeah, it's um, definitely a brand that I would recommend. Product that you should try at just £3.50 and you can thank me later. If you're concerned about locking into any kind of agreement, don't be, you can pause, cancel at any time. It's super convenient, arrive straight to your door. So now that that is on my skin, like I say, I tend to leave it on for around about 10 minutes. I just tend to uh, potter about, either go and get into my PJs, clean my teeth, and um, then come back and moisturize, which, um, yeah, I will do so now. So back in just a sec. Let me just throw my hair back up. Literally, this is how I do it, by the way. I know a few people ask, like, when I wear my hair up, rather than using bubbles to, like, cause damage, 
unless if I'm going out and about and putting it in a ponytail, I just kind of scoop it up like that, twist it around my finger, twist it around itself, use one of these claw crit, crits, crits, clips, and just literally throw it like that on top of my head. Right, okay, anyway, time to moisturize. My skin is feeling nice and smooth, ready for some hydration. So this is, oh, my last step of my nighttime skincare routine so very simple as you can tell stripped back easy and that's just what has been working for me so yeah i will uh just a reminder again i will leave that link and code down in the description box for you to try skin and me out for your first daily dose you can get it for just three pound fifty so anyway now it's time for me to go get into bed relax and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of today's vlog. I am doing something quite exciting, something that I've never done before. I thought I'd pick up the camera and talk to you guys about it to, I don't know, kind of document the journey. So I've come to a place called Hanforth Dean. If you're local to like Wilmslow area, you'll know it. It's got big home sense TK Maxx. I need to pop in and get some flooring samples and what else do I need? Oh, I'm gonna have a look at some fireplaces as well. Um, it's already starting to get dark outside because it is early evening. After I've done those bits, I'm gonna pop into HomeSense, have a quick look around um, in there, and then I'm booked on to do a class at five o'clock and it's, um, it's on this like complex and I was just driving past it the other day and I saw it and I was like, oh, let me just have a look online. It's called the Yoga Bee. I've booked on to do an aerial yoga tonight. So this is definitely like, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I'm getting into, I don't know, making myself feel uncomfortable, even though I know that I'm gonna enjoy it kind of thing, you know? And even if I don't enjoy it, then at least, at least I know I've been and I've wanted to try it and yeah. So anyway, it's one of those um, yoga classes that has like um, kind of hanging sheets which you, I don't know, flip around on, we'll see. I'm hoping that there are a couple of other beginners there. It did say all levels. Obviously I've never done it before and I'm just hoping that I don't go in and they're all pros. But you know what, if they are I'll just hang at the back, I'll just sit and watch and, and learn and go at my own pace. That's the main thing, at least I'm here and I'm trying something new. So that's on the agenda i've got my yoga mat which i got from cherries brand new fresh yoga mat i need to take the label off or else i really will look like a beginner when i go in whilst i'm here i'll take you around home sense and if i do pick anything up i'll probably show you show you those bits tomorrow when it is daylight uh, but yeah and it's prentice tonight as well so i can get home to tom cooking dinner watching the apprentice cuddles with barney back in my comfort zone but for now I'm pushing myself I'm pushing myself it's all part of the journey the anxiety journey the uncomfortable journey doing things that are out of your comfort zone to thrive instead of survive there we go if you needed to hear that I've said it um yeah so hence the fresh face I'm in like a the Lululemon dupe leggings and top actually, I've just been scratching my chest there. Um, it's like the Align tank um, dupe. And then this one is Lululemon. It's kind of like, they call it like a yoga throw or like yoga cover up. It's basically like a little cardigan or a little shawl, which I'm guessing at the end of the class, if we did any meditation or maybe not in this one, but if we do it in future one, different one, then you kind of like put it on at the end. So yeah, anyway, I'm talking to you because I'm nervous and I just feel like talking to you distracts me. Let's head into the shops, let's keep busy, then let's head over, let's do something new, and then, yeah, and then I'll probably chat through it with you guys, debrief, once I'm out. HomeSense is definitely one of my favourite shops for homeware shopping seasonally and Easter did not disappoint. There were so many different like Easter garlands, wreaths, decorations like knickknacks, candle holders. And then I saw this pot in the garden section, which by the way is beautiful. And then I discovered the final clearance. So many amazing bargains and definitely the time of year to check things out in HomeSense because you can get things literally from about 50p 
amazing. I also checked out the rest of the sections, the candles, the stationery, there were some gorgeous coffee table books and also some books like for mindfulness, Spark Joy Marie Kondo was a good find in there and some cooking books as well that I saw. I do have This Is Home and I love it. Um, I would recommend either checking it out on Amazon um, or HomeSense, but Amazon do tend to do it for a little bit cheaper. They also had Tom Ford, so amazing finds there. Olaplex, Living Proof, really, really impressed with those. So then I checked out the fireplaces that I needed to um, have a look at. We really need to make a decision this week on what surround we're going for, what log burner we're going for, what hearth, decisions and decisions. <laughs> Even with flooring as well, we are at the stage where we need to start thinking about what flooring we're gonna use. I think we are swaying towards LVT because it is 100% waterproof, which is great obviously for in the kitchen and obviously we have a dog as well. And then time to zen it is a new day wow i am feeling the yoga last night oh look what we brought to bed last night it's a little cheeky nighttime snack these were in a hamper we got at christmas and i would never buy myself chocolate almonds neither would tom amazing they're almost like sugared almonds um so yeah we've been loving those demolishing them um but yeah yoga last night oh my gosh well fir firstly i'm just kind of like topping up my makeup I'm about to go out um i'm going to show you some bits first and then i'm going to head to the traffic center but oh my gosh okay so when i first got there first things first I walked into like the reception no one was in there and it said session in progress so I thought oh, they must be in the room so I kind of opened the door which I thought would be the room which happened to be the room and I kind of like went to walk in and the woman was like stop 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 no shoes in the room and obviously like she was like newbie as in like it's quite clear that I didn't know that because everyone was aware of the fact that no one is allowed shoes at all past that door so that was a bit of a fail at the start and then what else happened then i got measured for this like aerial thing as you saw i got a quick clip inside and it's really annoying because one of the other there was a guy in there that was videoing it and i thought i should have just got my camera out but first time nerves and um yeah so maybe if i go back again if i go back again but first firstly let me just set the scene it was beautiful it was so zen in there they had loads of incense burning candles the lights dimly lit and all different colors the music was really good it was lovely i was thinking this whole time if we make that downstairs cinema room into a gym at some point i would love to have mood lighting in there places to pop incense and stuff so that we can use it as a gym we can also use it as like a relaxation room and even like at the end when we did the relaxation in the hammock like fully cocooned in it for a, was probably about five minutes but honestly i could have just stayed there forever it was so nice and yeah we were flipping upside down we were what else happened so i i got told off wearing shoes in there oh my mat was wrong my mat was too slippy so i had to borrow one of their mats so i would have to get another one if i were to go back and then what else happened yeah so one of the flips upside down which by the way my hips and my arms are so sore this morning not like bad sore as in you know like workout i've got muscles working that i haven't got them working in a long time flipped upside down at one point and she said don't have your hands too low and i was just too focused on the fact that i'm about to flip upside down here went for it my hands were too low and they got stuck so like i'm hanging upside down <laughs> and my hands are in place whereby they're locked in with the weight of my body so I couldn't move and she was like this fire said hands higher up so she had to like run over to me and like help me flip back up the right way to then move my hands up and honestly that was a bit embarrassing but aside from that it was actually really good fun it was just there were only four of us plus the instructor and they'd all done it before they were clearly like they looked like pros so I just felt a little bit, even though it's for all levels, obviously like with well, like with most yogas, if you go into something, there's like a level that you can do it. You don't have to go to the extreme version. They'll always show you like a simplified version first, even to the point where towards the end, I was like, God, I've been upside down that many times. Let me just take a chill. And I just went on my mat and she said, yeah, if you just do the pigeon pose, um, 
which is essentially what we're about to do in this upside down stretch and just do it on the mat and which is where you kind of lie like your legs straight and that up there so you're like lying flat on the floor oh god even that hurts <laughs> Uh, but no, it was really good. It was an experience. I'm glad I went. I would maybe consider going back actually because I, I enjoyed the whole movement, the fun element to it. What I didn't enjoy so much was the, the amount of being upside down. That's the only thing because even in normal yoga, like whenever I've done it and you go like into downward dog, it's not even the stretch that's uncomfortable for me. It's I don't like all the blood rushing to my head. So a couple of times fine but when you're in a pose for so long upside down that and then you're into the next one that's also upside down is a little bit too much upside down for me so i did ask her about another class i said do you have any like meditation type classes yet like what's the nicest for relaxation she said yin yoga so maybe i'll try that one next time but i'm happy i tried something new pat on the back for me um, anyway, I'll come in here to just quickly top up my makeup and also I've got some revolve bits to show you. The Home Sense bits that I got, oh my goodness. Just going in with a different lip liner to the one I usually use. This is just Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry, I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror. Um, in pillow, no, it's not pillow talk, it's iconic nude. And then just Carmex lip balm. That's all I ever do really for my lips, just nude lip liner and lip balm. But yeah, got so much in Home Sense. Let me show you. I was going to show you within this video, and I know that I feel like ugh, it'll be annoying that I'm not showing you. But if I show you how much I have, you'll realise why. Because this is an entire haul in itself. And I feel like I might as well just save it for a, se a separate video, or else this one will be way too long, and I don't want to rush it. So let me show you. I have bag one. Bag two, bag three, bag four, and bags five and six. Hence why this needs to be its own video. And let me tell you, pretty much all of it is the final final clearance stock. Like I'm talking 30p, 50p, a pound. That's what the majority of that stuff is. I do have a couple of new things in for the like from the spring and Easter section. So yeah, I'm gonna save that for a separate video. I will show you, before I go to Primark, a couple of bits that I got from Revolve. Now I've never shopped on Revolve before, but they reached out to me and said if I wanted to shop a couple of things on their website, I was more than welcome to do so. No obligation to post, however, I was more than happy to show you guys what I did pick up. Yeah, okay, let me just come back over here. Um, so I got a couple of items. First thing, well, a couple of basics I wanted to add to my kind of capsule basic type pieces section of my wardrobe because that is what I wear most, let's face it. That's what I'll get my money's worth out of. So from Lovers and Friends, I got this body and it's kind of like that Zara style body with the racer, except the material of it is a very thin kind of rib knit and then it's lined on the inside as well. So you can definitely wear that braless. And I got that in a medium. And then this one is more of like a thinner, lightweight vest from Tula Rose. And I quite often wear these basics throughout spring and summer. So I thought I would get one of those in a medium. And then I also got from LPA, this brand. It's um, in a large and it's just a quarter zip kind of jersey gray mile top again just a great basic what i liked about this one is that it's slightly more cropped so a lot of my sweatshirts and hoodies that are a bit longer this one may be better with jeans and stuff because it is uh, slightly shorter and then oh my goodness some of you might see this next item and go whoa is that you but yeah i'm gonna say yeah it is in terms of it's a nice top and i'm always short of like nice tops to wear with trousers on nights out. Nights out, like I don't want nights out. You know, like a evening dinner that's a bit dressier, maybe like a date night, that kind of thing. And we wanna do that more, me and Tom, because Tom's a proper foodie. I get a bit touching on my anxiety here. See, I'm being more open and honest with you guys, like I promised. For me, going out for food is a big like trigger. And sometimes I'm, I can be fine, but if I'm particularly anxious or got a lot going on in, in that moment or whatever, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. So going out for food is like a ugh, no go for me because I lose my appetite when I get anxious. So when I'm at home and stuff, I binge, I have my 
takeaways for the most part going out for me it's like if you're going traveling or something on holiday more often than not most people think oh god i put on so much weight on holiday i do the opposite i actually lose weight or, or at least retain my weight because i don't overeat when i'm away so yeah anyway going out for food is like a bit of a thing for me but i definitely want to like push through it overcome it and like i say tom's a proper foodie he would love to go out for food more than we order in quite a lot so anyway date night top is what i'm going on to from like wow this is a chatty video isn't it in a medium to large this is one of those classic kind of chain mail tops i have tried it on without a bra and that is how i would wear it so it's definitely a little bit racy date night appropriate I would say. I also got two things from the collaboration with Wellbeing and Being Well brand on Revolve. So first thing, just some new socks. I'm loving these um, Adenola ones. I do appreciate a good quality sock. <laughs> Am I old? Probably. Anyway, so I got that one. On one sock it just says live and on the other one it says well. And they're in a really nice creamy colour. And then you may recognise this. The 5 Minute Journal collaborated with Wellbeing and Being Well to create this journal. Which is similar to the 5 Minute um, Journal which I already have. But it is slightly different this one. It's a little more informative. There's a bit more, look there's a whole contents about um, how it works gratitude mindfulness affirmations and then there's a bit more sections like weekly planning there's more sections to fill out there's habit trackers um and then you've got the standard like quote per day plus the i am grateful for that you fill out and spend five minutes on in the morning and the evening either every single day once a week once in a blue moon whenever you feel like doing it i love the fact that it's not dated so you can have that flexibility and then the last thing that I got from this brand called Ray. They do a load of different shoes on Revolve and I saw these boots and I thought again I was lacking a kind of smart boot. They're a little more expensive but they're so well made. I would say size up though because I'm like six and a half. I got these in a seven and they're snug so I'd only be able to wear like thin socks with these. Um, but this is what they look like. Ankle length, leather boot, with a slight, ever so slightly thicker heel, so that just makes them a little bit more comfortable. See how the stiletto goes in, but anyway, that's what they look like. And then they've got a squared off toe as well, but still quite elongated. Anyway, just a good staple. Classic pair of boots there. So that's everything that I got from Revolve. I'm gonna head over to the traffic center now and head up Primark finally. So let's go see what they've got in new. I have arrived at Barton Square Arcade Primark. Not gonna lie, it's not as good as the Manchester City Centre one, purely down to size. However, it does tend to still have the good stock. You know how sometimes smaller Primarks, like smaller city centre Primarks, are rubbish. Like they have the rubbish stock, not very well merchandised visually, and it just is a bit of a bad experience. This one is a lovely store just not as big that's the only difference so anyway we're gonna have a quick look in i might head over to the manchester city center one at some point soon maybe for like um another another shop at some point this month i don't know um but yeah let's head on in i've got my obligatory starbucks which there's a drive through right by this one. A word on the street, seen as I haven't been in since before Christmas, is that they have a few sale things. And you know me, I'm all, all for a sale purchase. Even if it is Christmas stock, you can put it away for next year. Now is the time to shop for Christmas stuff. I think without further ado, we should just head on in and see see what it's looking like. This is the store in Trafford Centre. It's over two floors. It's uh, like homeware, men's and kids upstairs and then all of the women's wear downstairs. You'll see through a lot of this vlog footage that I got that blue is definitely a theme running throughout Primark. I'm pleased to say there wasn't loads of like bold, bright, garish colours like there was last year. Definitely some more muted light baby blues, chocolate browns, creams and greens as well. I loved the relaxed fit of this shirt and I did really like this blazer. I think they've got matching trousers as well 
but I do have a blazer in the pretty much the exact same color already from Zara. So I did leave it on this occasion. And then I have noticed as well, the odd random find like this shirt from the edit range, but not too much in this store. There was also lots of um, faux leather still in stores with these leggings. I loved that burgundy color. They also had a blazer in like a really rich olive green color. Now this blazer, I know this is a 16, but the boxy kind of fit of it really reminded me of the Frankie Shop one that I've got. So yeah, really liked that. And again, alongside all the baby blues, there's lots of camels, which I think the camel tone works really, really well with the baby blue section. And then this is continued on into the workout section. Had they have had this set in my size, I probably would have got it because I loved the top. It was something a little bit different for me. They did have an all-in-one, which I don't know if I'm brave enough to try. Maybe if it was in black, but the light blue, I don't know, it was maybe just a bit too, too uh, brave for me. And then loads of like sweatshirts with bold prints on. I didn't even realize this was Justin Bieber initially. I just loved the color of it. And then when I saw it was Justin Bieber, I did see that they'd added that extra fiver on there to make it 16 quid when the other ones were 11. Then this I thought was a really good basic, just a nice lightweight knit that they had in both cream and camel at just seven pounds. Again, you can see lots of blues here. There was quite a few clearance section like items, but nothing too standout-ish other than this coat, which I do already have this one. It's kind of like a satiny chocolate brown uh, trench, which they had matching trousers of. Uh, I didn't see those ones in the sale though, but I do have that set already. Again, lots of greens. I loved these chunky green boots, a very muted green as well. I did find the renowned TikTok viral jacket, which is very similar to the Zara one and kind of similar to All Saints as well, but there was only one and it was in an extra large. So I did leave it on this occasion. And then I saw these trainers and they reminded me of the New Balance ones that are quite popular at the moment. So, oh, quick, quick Lion King section would be rude not to, seems that it's my favorite Disney movie. And then I saw this set of like lounge slash pajamas, I'm going to say. It was super soft, very kind of Skims vibes. That's what it was reminding me of. So they had shorts as well and also this dress at £11. And then I had a quick look at the kind of dressing gown section. I saw this quilted kind of like throw on house coat dressing gown style, it's like really padded and quilted, which I quite liked, very, very cozy. And then again into the men's, again, that blue kind of filters through, but in more of like a cobalt blue a alongside that camel. They had quite a lot of like varsity style quarter zips. Uh, t-shirts, joggers, some crew neck sweats as well. And I just really liked them. I liked the font, I liked the color. So yeah, definitely worth checking out the menswear as well. And then of course, I had to have a look at the home section, my favorite. The Primark City Center, I do have to say, is so much better than the Trafford Center one. It is good. They have a few random items. Like I loved these photo frames, only £3.50 each. This one actually reminds me of one that I've got from Zara. But yeah, well worth checking out the City Center one if you like the homework. Da, 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 da. We're back. We are back. Successful trip, I would say. Not masses in Primark, because like I said, I do prefer the city centre one. But I did grab a couple of bags with just a few bits in. Firstly, I got this sweatshirt in a medium at 11 pounds. I really liked the kind of print on it. Did I need any more sweatshirts? Absolutely not. But did I buy one? No, I bought two. Um, I got this one which says Soho NYC. I love that gray. It's like a proper school gray, this one, isn't it? Um, and then on the front it just says like Lower Manhattan. What else it has in there? A couple of different fonts. I like that, 11 pounds. And it's already oversized, I would say. So I've got a medium. Like usually I get like extra large in my sweatshirts, don't I? But that one felt already quite oversized. Same with this one. This is in the same section. They had loads of different like slogan sweats and I just really liked some of them. This one had a proper like vintage feel to it. I don't know if it's very me, but I really like this green and I really like that font. I think this part throws me off a little bit. It's quite like, whoa, that's a bold print. But I also quite like the fact that it's really distressed. Can you see? 
kind of like looks like a proper vintage sweatshirt. 11 pounds again, so same as the other one, same size as well in a medium. This is where it comes to if you're wanting to no, just a basic sweatshirt there. And then I got a couple of accessories and little bits and bobs. I got these scrunchies, mainly for this cream one. I thought it was lovely. And then the black one. I probably won't wear that patterned one, but that's the thing when it comes to a pack of stuff like this, a pack of earrings, a pack of scrunchies, there's usually always at least one thing in there that you won't actually wear. I got a couple of pairs of socks for wearing with my boots. And these ones are really good, they don't shed or anything. I find like the Primark Cozy socks now start shedding, so I don't buy them anymore. £3.50 and you've got a light grey and a dark grey in there. There's a little white company dupe that I'm just going to put to one side for a video coming soon. Oh, I got this as well. This is kind of like similar to that grey. I couldn't see the grey one that they do. Um, which is very similar to the white company one but i have seen that they've brought out this beige one and it's essentially like a house coat you know some people call the dressing gown a house coat well this is what i would class as a house coat because it is very much a like it looks like a jacket it's so cozy and so soft but i would just wear this with like my pajamas on underneath if i'm not wanting a full-on dressing gown because obviously it's not got any ties or anything even to the point where, you know, like during the day, if you just want to get cozy in the house and you've got nice loungewear on underneath, but you're a bit cold, then this is like a dressing gown, but you can answer the door and it not look like a dressing gown. That's how I feel anyway. But yeah, they do a lined one in grey that is very similar to the white company one. But this is the one that I found, £20. I got it in a medium. I did try on the small. Um, but it felt a little bit snug on the arms and I thought if I've got like a jumper on underneath, a thin jumper, I want to still be able to have that fit on top. Okay, this is Lux. It is from the Primark Edit range and I know it just looks like a basic standard tee but I had a declutter of my wardrobe recently, you probably saw, and I really like want to, you know when you just wear your basic tees all the time, they get a bit like, they just lose their fresh feeling well this one it feels super super nice quality like i said it is 12 pounds for a t-shirt that's zara prices but it feels so soft so thick so well made and it was just on its own so i was really trying to find the section where these were to see if there are any white ones black ones but this was unfortunately the only one i could see so yeah i grabbed it and i know that seems a lot for a t-shirt but trust me if you find the primark edit range in your primark feel that t-shirt it's amazing and then i also got uh, one of these i showed them in the vlog footage there was a cream one as well which i was tempted for but i thought i would just pick up this one for now and it's just a basic kind of race style rib that in spring and summer i feel like this paired with light colored trousers whether it be uh, like cream jeans or smarter trousers with a blazer thrown over the top it's just a good basic to have really or with yeah like i say with jeans seven pounds i got it in a small and it feels thick enough to go braless but i do think that it's not as i don't know i was gonna say supportive but actually yeah because it's quite fitted yeah you would go but you could go braless with that um but yeah seven pounds maybe not the cream one because of the knit of it it might be a bit too well unless you want to free the neck and enjoy that then by all means but that's everything that i got from primark on this trip if you want me to go to the manchester city center huge super mega store then do let me know otherwise i just need to get back to some emails today this afternoon get with some editing and stuff so yeah that is my plan back in present time and if you remember from the start of this vlog i talked to you guys about my skin and me daily dosa i just wanted to remind you guys that you can get your first daily dosa for just three pound fifty which i will leave a link to it in the description box below it's 24.99 usually um so you can really try it out Give it a good try, see how you get on. You can pause, cancel any time you're not like locked into an agreement. So um, yeah, I've been using it for months, so I've really, really enjoyed it. And 
if you want to try getting your own personalized formula designed by one of the dermatology team, then now is the time to do so with that offer. So link in the description box, code in the description box. Thank you so much to them. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.